so, tonight's so rewarding for me. First of all, I'm very, very proud of the film. Secondly, when you see the audience react the way they did, cheering and clapping and laughing, it energizes the filmmakers. It really gives us that, you know, because we're all really burnt out right now. You know, this has been going on and on. We've been going from screening to screening. And when an audience responds, we fly out of here. So I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm really thrilled. Suzelle, you made Above and Beyond. Will you be making more Zionist <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I think really the kind of films that I want to make are nuanced Zionist, you know, films. In other words, something that won't fall into the propaganda category will not be dismissed by the Israel bashers, but ones that have a gentle nudge, a gentle good feeling about Israel. Um, I love the American-Israel cooperative message, but uh, showing Israel in a good light, and also films about our heritage, films about our culture. That's something that we can share with the younger generation because they don't like to read anymore, so we have to give them visual tools. Film is the way to go. Why do you suppose Stephen is not making more Jewish history films? Well, he's got so many films, and so his, his you know, scope of films and his scope and passion is uh, tremendous. And I think he did so well with Schindler's List. And sometimes you don't want to try to tinker with something that was so perfect in case the next thing doesn't come out that good. But he's got very, very important films, films that are good, you know, that create social change and bring up great topics that belong to all of us, Jews and non Jews. But I don't tell him what to do anyway, so you know. Uh, as much. <laughs> do I listen? No. <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just a part of the flow, so <laughs> doing my part, my little part.